Hello and welcome again to SchoolofFlash.com. My name is Craig Campbell. Now today's tutorial is a special request from a few of our students. Uh, since we have our new Flash CS4 Step 1 video series out now, I've had a couple of people contact me and ask me if they would still be able to follow along even if they didn't have CS4 yet, if they were still using Flash CS3. Uh, what I've told the people who have contacted me is that yes, you will still be able to follow along. Now uh, there are a couple of new features of Flash CS4 uh, that you won't be able to use in CS3, such as the new uh, 3D transformation tools, the bone tool, the bind tool, uh, the art deco tool, and the spray brush tool, and there may be some others that, I, that I'm not thinking of right at the moment. Um, those tools are not available in CS3, however that's not going to stop you from learning from the rest of the video series. However, there is one thing that's very important that you're going to be using a lot, uh, that deserves a little bit of attention, and that's how motion tweens are used. So if you're using Flash CS3 and you're watching the Flash CS4 Step 1 video series, then you will need to know how motion tweens were done before Flash CS4. Uh, so I'm going to talk about how to do motion tweens the old way and the new way in this tutorial. So here I have Flash CS3 opened up and I'll show you the old way of doing motion tweens. So if you're using Flash CS3 and watching the Flash CS4 video series, uh, this part is for you. Uh, because if you're following along with the Flash CS4 series, you won't be able to do tweens like I do them there. So let's create just a simple oval. And uh, it doesn't matter what colors you choose for it. Uh, and then we'll draw our oval on the stage. And in order to make a tween out of this, we need to convert it to a symbol. So we'll go to the selection tool, highlight the object, F8 to convert it to a symbol. I'm going to make it a movie clip symbol, and we'll just call it circle, and click on OK. Now in order to create a tween out of this, we need to create a beginning and an ending keyframe, and then in the frames in between, we're simply going to tell Flash to fill in the spaces for us by creating a motion tween there. So we have our beginning keyframe here. Now up on our timeline, we need to create our ending keyframe. So we need to ask ourselves how much time we want this to take. Well, if we're using a, a file with a frame rate of 12 frames per second, and let's say we want this to take two seconds to get from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen, we would make this 24 frames long. So we'd go out to frame 24, click on frame 24 for that layer, and hit F6 to create a new keyframe on that layer. And then, with that new keyframe selected, we'll grab our circle and drag it over here to the right like so. Okay, so in frame 1 we have our beginning keyframe, in frame 24 we have our ending keyframe, and then to create our tween we just simply right click between those keyframes and click on create motion tween. And we know that it worked because we now see this arrow in our timeline. And if we click and drag across we can see that tween taking place. So that's how you create a motion tween in Flash CS3. So now, in case um, you're not watching the video series and you just want to know how to do a tween in Flash CS4, I'll go ahead and jump over to Flash CS4 and show you how to do a tween there. So I'll just create a new ActionScript 3.0 file in Flash CS4. And in Flash CS4, it's amazing. It's a lot quicker uh, to do this. So we'll choose our oval tool. We'll click and drag out, holding on to Shift to create a perfect circle. Hit V to switch to the selection tool. We'll click and drag around to select that shape. F8 to convert it to a symbol. We'll make it a movie clip symbol. We'll call it circle. And then to create our tween, it just takes two simple steps. We right click on our shape and click on create motion tween. And then you'll see that our playhead has already moved over to frame 24. So we can just drag it to the last keyframe. And there we go, we've made our motion tween. We can click and drag across and there we go. Now the great thing about this new tween model is we can easily uh, alter the length of the animation by hovering over the right edge and dragging around. Now it takes up 40 frames, or 41 frames, instead of 24. And we can also easily change the path of the animation by clicking and dragging on the path. And you'll see it bends it, and now it follows that path. Uh, so creating motion paths and things like that are a lot easier in, uh, in Flash CS4, or altering the motion path is a lot easier than it used to be. So hopefully uh, our two tween methods there have helped you out a little bit if you're using CS4 or if you're using CS3 and you're 
thinking about getting CS4, hopefully this will uh, be one of the things that will help to convince you to do it because uh, making animations, making motion tweens and things like that is a lot easier now in Flash CS4. And if you're following along with the video series and you're using Flash CS3, hopefully uh, the beginning of this tutorial where I showed you how to do it the old way, hopefully that will be helpful to you as well. Uh, so once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at schooloflash.com.